Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everybody's well. It is the wee hours of the morning on Tarot Tuesday, and I just want to get one more reading in before I go to bed because Tarot Tuesday this week is going to be a not so Tarot Tuesday because I have tons of stuff I have to do. It's my son's first day of school, so it will literally be the first day in months that I've had this house all to myself all day long. So I'm going to take advantage of it because there's lots of things I got to get done. So I might make a couple flip side videos, but other than that, um, it's going to be housework. So all right, let's throw down Sag. Fire! Sagittarius. It is your turn. The universe has decided that it is your turn figure out where the heck I can set this for it can be visible oh my gosh this is impossible I can't have it right here I don't want it right you know what there we go that's as good as it gets right there okay that was ridiculous sorry this reading will be for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising Venus if it resonates with you cool share free will do whatever you choose to do the message given by the cards if you choose to do anything at all it's your journey, not mine, Sag. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your moon rising or Venus placements if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. No things can, maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher. And our dear friends, the cross-watchers, are always welcome here at the Fireside Table. Too, but everybody's always welcome here at my table. And I appreciate you stopping by, saying hi to little old me. While you're here, if you're new here and you haven't done so yet, if you f feel like we vibing, we're going to get along, you can hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That'd be super cool. If you like what you see, you can hit the like button. Also, it'd be super cool. And it all helps the channel, so it is definitely greatly appreciated. Justice and the Three of Pentacles reversed. Ooh. Something not coming together. Uh possibly the balancing scales and the sword of justice or cutting things out. Hmm. All right. We'll just see what comes out the cards guys. Okay. Before I invoke and throw down for you, sad, just two things we got to go over. Cause you know, I got to let the newbies in one, never make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good idea. I don't care if they're my cards or anybody else's. If it's going to fuck your universe up, if you make the wrong decision, I highly suggest that you just go inside and sort it out for yourself. Ooh. Sorry, I take notes. Two, if it's not your reading, not your story, not your message, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's that easy. If you're out shopping for a blouse or a shirt, you know, tie, whatever, whatever article of clothing or accessory you might be shopping for, you're not going to buy something that doesn't go with anything that you own or is not functional in anything that you do. And doesn't fit and take it home, right? Well, don't do that with a tarot reading. If it's not yours, leave it on the table. We'll try again next time. It's not going to be for every Sag every time. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels. I ask for any messages you have for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you and I am grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given. And I ask... You help me bring Sagittarius to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Sagittarius, why are you here? Nine of Wands. I love this for you. I do. This is you not giving up. This is you rising up out of the ashes. This is amazing. I love this for you. Okay. Well, if you're rising up out of the ashes of something, what are you rising up out of the ashes of? What happened? 
Ten of Wands reversed. In the past, you had a hard time releasing a burden. For whatever reason. This is a judgment-free zone. I have to switch legs. Give me just a second. It's impossible for me to get comfortable on the floor. I don't know why I do this to myself. Okay. Happened after that. In the here and the now, two swords reversed. You're still questioning your decision. You still don't know if you did the right thing. Hmm. I guess that depends what you did. What's the immediate future? Wheel of Fortune reversed. Some come back around. Hmm. Hmm. Outcome. Six of Wands reversed. Lack of victory. Fire. Fire, air, really? Okay. Okay. I'm going to wear this poor deck out, I swear to God. A lot of fire on this table right now. I will throw that out there. There's a lot more fire than there is anything else. You could be dealing with another fire sign. Aries, Leo, or another Sagittarius. Could possibly be an air sign, specifically... Um... Libra. I believe Libra. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta count. Aries. Taurus. Yeah, it would be Libra. Anyway, sorry, I had to go through the cards and count and figure out what zodiac sign I was on. Universe, source, spirit guides. Can I get the energy, the person or situation that Sagittarius is dealing with for September round two, please? Cups reversed. Emotional closing off. Or a deep sadness. We'll get a clarifier. The here and the now. Eight of cups. Reversed. Attempting to come back around. Maybe future Ten of Cups reversed. Magician reversed is an outcome. Ha! Huh. Who are you dealing with? Whole lot of upside down emotion down here. Could be a water sign. Pisces. These two cards are cards of Pisces. Hold that thought. Sorry, it was the boss. Okay. Anyway. All right. I like this magician reversed at the end. That's manipulation. That's screaming manipulation to me. Let's get a little clarity for Sag. 
All right. Clarity for Sag. Universe Source Spirit Guides. Can we get some clarity? And the cards on the table for Sagittarius and the person that they're dealing with for second round September. Round two. Sounds like a boxing match. Why is the Ten of Wands reversed here for Sag? Wheel of Fortune reversed. That thing you just couldn't shake. Could be another Sag you're dealing with. The Ten of Wands is a Sagittarius card. Death. I'm hearing never ending death cycle. Totally what I'm hearing right now. It's like one of those clowns with the sandbag at the bottom of it. You keep punching it, keep standing back up. Every time you try to take it down, it stands right back up. It just won't end. You can't release it. One more on that. Nine of Wands, yep. Yeah. I don't think this, I think this is the energy of the person that you're dealing with that you just cannot shake. They will not give up. They will not quit. I think you want the death cycle to occur. I don't think they do. <laughs> Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here for the other person? Three of Swords, heartbroken. World card. Sorry, one second. Sorry, hopefully that doesn't interrupt us anymore. One more. Knight of Swords reversed. Oh man. Forced ending, blocked communication. I think you had to, though, because they just wouldn't stop. I think this ending was forced upon them. Take it out of a resonance. Place yourself where you see a fit, Zadj, but... Alright, and the here and the now. The here and the now. Why is the, tennis, the two of swords reversed for Sagittarius? Why the two of swords reversed? King of Cups. Seven of Swords. Not allowing emotions to dictate your choices. Why the Seven of Swords?
Page of Swords. One more. Knight of Cups. Weird part. I think you're finally expressing how you feel. Even if it's something that the other person doesn't want to hear. I think you finally come to that decision that doggone it, this is going to end, is going to end. Page of Swords over Seven of Swords. Anything that you've been hiding, even, even the little white lies, everything's coming out in the wash at this point. And you're trying to make this decision with as little emotion as possible. Why the Knight of Cups? Four of Wands reversed. Even if it drops the tower. Four of Wands in the reverse is my Minor Arcana Tower. Even if it sends the foundation crumbling down, you don't care at this point. It's like, my, my gift to you in this cup is the truth. That's what you're giving this person. Pardon me, I had pizza for dinner. Okay, why the eight of cups reversed for the other person? That's a card return. Why the Eight of Cups reversed? Temperance reversed. Oh, shit. Six of Cups. Oh, well. Nine of Swords. Holy shit. Okay, so this is so begrudged. They're so mad. Okay. You're dealing with this pretty pissed off right now. <sighs> Temperance reversed. Nine of Swords. Six of Cups. Four of Swords. Okay. See the four wands that she's holding in one hand? With the sword in the other. She's about to cut shit out of her life and rebuild her stability and her stable place somewhere else. Getting over the heartbreak. But in a semi-vicious manner, it feels like. With this neck next to this temperance reverse. That's negative energy. Yeah, you guys may probably been kicking it for a minute. They're all up in their head about this. One more on the Eight of Cups reversed. That's a return. Five of Pentacles, they want to come out of the cold. They miss you, but they're pissed off at you. It's like they've been blocked from coming back. Nine of Swords, they sit up at night. Trying to figure out how to come out of the cold and come back. Five of swords, two of wands. They're starting to understand the cost of victory. They're at the crossroads. They want to come back, but they don't think they can. 
Okay. I mean, okay. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed here for Sag for the immediate future? Hey, thanks. Hangman. <laughs> King of Swords. Oh, wow. All right. Just trying to maintain your composure. Star trying to heal with that lingering unfinished business. Why is Ten of Cups reversed here for the other person? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Wands. Slow rele slowly releasing the burden. Not happy. Not happy at all. I gotta set these down here. I'm running out of room. Not happy. Self worth issues. Not happy. Releasing the burden. One more. Ace of Cups. Going off, trying to find that do-over. Want a new start. One in the Ace of Cups, and we're going to move on. Three of Wands is the only one that showed itself to me. I'm putting the other two back. Page of Cups, Emperor. They are waiting to be able to come back in and make you an offer. They're waiting. Trying to get their power back. I see them getting their power back. I see, see them coming out of that shell and rising up. Wow. Why is Six of Wands reversed here for Sagittarius for an outcome? Six of Wands reversed. Ace of Wands reversed. Eight of Wands upright. The sun. Two swords. Don't make me drop that sword again. Whoever this is tried to tried to come back, I think you're just gonna have to drop the sword again. I don't think you want any part of this. Ace of Wands reversed. You don't want to start a new cycle with them. And I don't think you're gonna have any issue telling them what time it is in a great big hurry. 
Why the sun? Five of Wands, even if it turns into a conflict. Why the Magician reversed? Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands. That's a lot of fighting and feud energy. Seven of Wands. feels very threatening and very confrontational to me, but yet very honest. Six of Pentacles, possibly an energy match. I'm hearing Sagi is going to get what they dished out. I don't know. I'm not a finger pointer. This is what I'm hearing. So however you treated this person, that's exactly what you're going to get back. Three of Pentacles. I think in time, in time, foundations could be laid for some kind of cooperation, but I, I'm not seeing it anytime soon, especially with that Five of Wands up on Saggy's side. So, Four of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Magician reversed. <sighs> Don't put energy into things that aren't going to manifest. Don't hold on to something too long because it prevents your healing. Avoid returning to things that were not equal. Allow your intuition to guide you out of the state of sadness and out of a state of lack of self-worth. And a little positive vibes and positive energy in. You must be patient with yourself in the universe. This is not a process you can rush. Sometimes you need to rest. Four of swords, nine of wands reversed. It's okay to rest and stay down. It's okay to set boundaries. If you're going to build walls around yourself, just don't make them permanent. It's okay to process a heartbreak. Okay? Six of Cups reversed. Page of Wands. I'm hearing if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. <laughs> no below the belt hits. I don't know who that's for, but you know who that's for, Sagi. Okay. If you want something to return to you, karma, you must let it release the world. If you fail to release a cycle or let a cycle end... You can't resurrect something that's not dead. So I want you to keep that in mind. If you love something, let it go. And if it returns to you, well, you know the rest of the song. Okay. Oh, Nine of Pentacles. 
That's a double dose, so you might just want to stay single for a while, Sag. Don't rush into anything. All right, gang. I know that you're loved. Be blessed, and thanks for coming by, and I'll catch you guys next time.